Hello and welcome back to our Park Attack campaign mode series. Uh, we have just completed the Mystic Desert. Uh, we got all the goals completed there and now are moving on. That unlocked uh, Archipelago Adventures, uh, which is a pretty interesting scenario. But before we get there, we are going to head up to Nova Labs and work on this sci-fi theme. Uh, and uh, before we get into this, I uh, just want to ask if you are enjoying the content so far, uh, please consider subscribing. It really gives me the motivation that I need to continue to make videos. So, again, uh, if you enjoy it, please consider yeah consider subscribing. And uh, if not, I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you consider subscribing at the end. So, anyway, on to Nova Labs. Uh, once the set of a famous sci-fi movie, the production company that owns it has put it up for sale. This alien landscape would make a stellar park that teleports visitors to new worlds. Uh, for this scenario, we need to have an experiences rating of at least 70%, have at least 500 guests in your park, and an optional have at least 250 guests in your park and complete all non-optional goals by the end of August year two. We're gonna remember August of year two and not the end of year two. Uh, so uh, it seems like it might be a pretty quick one here. And uh, you know, this experience rating of s at least 70%, that is something new that we haven't had to deal with. Uh, so let's go ahead, get in here. I'm interested to see what this park is going to be like. Uh, and uh, right from the beginning, we get $6,000 as soon as we get 250 people in the park. Uh, so that is very good. Let's go ahead and pause this for a second. Uh, we're looking, uh, we got a nice little red and then some type of biodome type thing here. Uh, and then we got something else out here. Does that have anything in it? No, oh, that, that, that's pretty empty. Uh, I may consider using that for something. Seems like a good little shop area to me. Um, maybe, maybe not, uh, because that would be a little tight with things. But anyway, uh, we got a little bit of a rock mountain type thing scattered around. Pretty big, flat, relatively flat land. Uh, another place out here, which is interesting. Um, but there is a lot of land. We're definitely not going to use that much land uh, for 500 guests in the park. So, um, if we take a look, our the gentle monorail ride. I've never seen that before, so that's cool. Uh, the motion simulator, the bumper cars. The bumper cars we know are fantastic. So we're definitely going to keep those uh, in mind. Gravitron and the top spin. Uh, I like the top spin, especially when it looks green like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got the powered coaster, which I've never built that before, so that seems interesting. The spinny coaster. Uh, and then the steel coaster. So we got some good coasters to start off with. No transport rides, no water rides. Uh, it is 28 degrees Fahrenheit, so uh, it's water rides aren't going to be that important. Uh, apparently this is uh, a pretty cold environment, or maybe it's just like the overnight for the desert, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, onto our shops. Uh, we do have the vending machine, which is good, but at the same time, uh, that's the only way for food at the moment, so we'll have to, probably have to do some research for shops and stalls. We do have $25,000 too. Um, the customizable shop uh, and the cash machine, those are exciting. Uh, we do have some merchandise with the info kiosk, not necessarily merchandise, but the park map. Uh, and then the umbrella, the umbrellas, which is a good thing, and then obviously the restroom. Uh, scenery is going to be interesting in here, so... Uh, we're going to have some really odd things, I think. Uh, we still have a good chunk of walls and stuff. Um, but we're probably going to be dabbling in the building uh, a little bit, because that's going to be a 
a lot of the things that we're looking at. So, uh, details, nothing too outside the ordinary here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, we have thrill rides going at the moment. Let's go ahead and change this to shops. Uh, and I think we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hire and spend $5,000 right away. And throw rides wouldn't be a bad thing because um, we don't have much. We don't want water rides. We don't need transport rides. Coasters will be good at some point, um, but not yet. So we'll get the $100 uh, for that so then they can gather ideas and all that good stuff. Uh, we won't need any of that stuff, but uh, yeah, so uh, this scenario, I mean, we're looking, we're probably going to be getting, uh, what kind of coaster do we want in here? I kind of feel like I, I want to do something that, like, if we're going to expand the, the pathway here, so if we expanded this out, expand this out, it'd be cool to have, like, a piece, a coaster that goes underneath this pipe and comes out and does something over here and then loops back underneath comes over. Maybe we have the entrance on this side. That may be pretty cool. Uh, so maybe we'll take a look at doing that. And I know I... Okay, so there's an info kiosk hiding in the... In the uh, oh, and they're trying to get... No, you're gonna... You're not gonna be free. Um, this stuff is all looking pretty good. Um, that that's hidden pretty well. Uh, and then we don't have a staff room which is good to know and uh, yeah I think uh, I think we kind of have an idea I, I want to do that type of coaster expand the paths out uh, I would like to get in as many of these flat rides as we can uh, definitely get the motion simulator definitely get the bumper cars and then the Gravitron top spin, they seem to make sense for this type of scenario. Uh, and top spin, I feel like, is a pretty decent one, because you're, you're pretty high, you're in the medium intensity range there, so... Uh, let's go, what's this, what's this? Increased popularity during rain, increased popularity during low temperatures. So that's a good thing, too, so... Alright, so let's go ahead, uh, and we'll jump into a time lapse. Uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is go for the coaster and see if I can come up with a reasonable looking uh, idea here and see what we get. So, I will see you there. Here we go, jumping into the time lapse. Uh, like I said, we were going to go ahead and expand our pathways. That didn't take too long. Uh, we were able to finish that and then we go straight into the coaster build. And uh, I was really struggling with the first drop on this steel coaster. I wanted it to have a loop in it very bad at the beginning. Um, but I just couldn't seem to find a way that I was satisfied with to get exactly the way I wanted it to go. So uh, we have to settle for uh, just like a big uh, swooping turn uh, for that first hill after the drop. And, uh, you know, I think it turns out nice. It, it kind of swoops back into, like, this big helix before setting up to do the dive underneath the pathway. And uh, that sets up so well that when it comes out, it goes into a few more helixes on the other side, using up that space on the corner that is pretty much useless because of that pipe that's on the side there. So uh, I'm really glad we were able to use that. And then uh, trying to get it to go back through underneath the pathway again. I really struggled getting the height down. Uh, we ended up settling for a double down right before. Um, and that's at a high speed. So you definitely get some air time. You get a nice head chopper effect from the bridge. And uh, I think it turns out well. Uh, after that, we go ahead and uh, I was debating if I wanted to have a little bit longer of a layout. Um, I, I try a few different things to see if I could get a little, a few extra turns in there before heading back to the brakes, or to the station. Uh, and I end up just settling, settling for one helix uh, that heads into the brake run. Uh, 
And uh, yeah, we're pretty much done with that. From here, I believe we go and take a look at uh, the bridge a little bit more. Uh, we go ahead and remove all the, the land so we don't have any actual tunnels for the ride. It's all going to be uh, just uh, going under that bridge and under the pathway. Um, we also go ahead and make it so it's a little bit of a ramp going down in there so it's not just a bunch of uh, broken pieces as you get in the terrain if you will. Uh, that didn't take too long though so then we're, we go quickly into making sure we have enough money uh, and this is where I find out that that area that we try to put the bumper cars in first is pretty much unusable. Um, but I try again later. Um, but we we continue to just throw rides in here all over the place. Uh, we try the Gravitron in that area. We realize, oh, you know what? We could do this. We could do... Oh, no, wait. There's a pipe there. Um, and I think I even try it one more time. Um, but we do get the bumper cars in. We get the Gravitron in. And uh, that's pretty much it for the attractions. Um, we do make some minor changes to the pathway just to vary it up a little bit. Um, and uh, we go with some bright colors for the sci-fi theme. I'm not really sure why I chose to do that. I didn't even change the Gravitron's color. Uh, same with the uh, motion simulator. I didn't change those colors. I just uh, embraced them, I guess. Um, but I do change the color for the steel coaster, uh, give that more of a red look. Uh, and then we go ahead and start setting up our queue line for the coaster and our building. And uh, we go through a different, not necessarily different variations, but as I'm building, I come up with a few different ideas to try and make it a little bit more functional uh, for the guests. So uh, we go ahead and we do remodel the path here a little bit, uh, just because I, I didn't like the way it was working the first time. Uh, but we continue, we, we steal the building pieces from the, the entrance building, go ahead and put these down, and it looks like, oh, you know what? We're probably just gonna have a, a pretty rectangular base here uh, with just a top, kind of like the, uh, the, the greenhouse type thing there uh, and you know for the most part that's accurate until I, th I think to myself I need to have shops in there so we go ahead we get our borders on we do a lot of borders uh, we do a little, quite a few pillars and uh, we want it a little bit different so we add a little bit higher roof on the top here just to make it uh, a little more interesting uh, but then we got to say, you know what, it is, I think we do need to put these shops in. So we put two customizable shops. We set one up to be the vending machine. Uh, and that allows us to sell drinks and chips and drinks at it, uh, which is great. Uh, especially considering we're putting the soft drinks right next to it. We get a bathroom in there. We get our depot all set up. And... Uh, we do have to take a loan, but that's not too bad. We just go ahead and finish off uh, our, our building here. And uh, I'm glad that we did be add this on there because it gives a little bit of depth to it. Also gives us a chance to add uh, a little piece to the side here, which uh, kind of fills the whole building out a little bit. Um, and then from this point on, it's all pretty generic stuff. We just go ahead and put some fences on to get that extra, extra um, scenery rating for everything. I get it basically gets everything up to a medium scenery rating, and uh, make sure that we get. Oh, we do it a little. Well, I forgot about the bridge. Um, we go ahead and add some arches to the bridge just to kind of give this some variation. We give it. Um, one thing I wish I would have done, I wish I would have used exclusively cornice pieces because the border pieces and the cornice pieces are so slightly different in color. Um, and I couldn't figure out why, but uh, we get the roof on here. I really like the way that looks. And uh, last thing, putting lights, trash cans, and benches in. We made this mistake in... Uh, one of our other scenarios, Mystic Oasis, 
uh, where we didn't put any trash bins in, and before you knew it, uh, everyone hated our park. So, that is pretty much going to wrap up uh, this time lapse. Uh, so, we just finish up with a few trees here and there. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to the live portion of myself. So, I'll see you there. Alright, so we have completed our first time lapse here, and I just realized uh, I missed a few pieces. Uh, and you know, I'm pretty happy with the way everything is looking so far. Uh, we got a nice steel roller coaster here that does exactly what I was hoping, uh, where it flies underneath the path here, comes up, does a few turns, and then does a double down in underneath the path again coming up into airtime and helix into the brake run. Uh, so pretty happy with that. We got some other rides in here. I didn't want to spend all my money because that always puts me in a bad spot. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it open. All right, here we go. Uh, so we got a whole bunch of things now testing, uh, which I guess we really don't need to do that. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get some of these open. We're going to have a little bit of color variation going around this park. We already have bumper cars open, uh, which is where we're getting our techno music from. And uh, go ahead and throw uh, a Stargazer on, or open. Uh, we got our shops and stalls hidden in here. Just go ahead and uh, get these a little bit. 80. We got chips and soda uh, in that in the one, uh, and then we just have drink, soft drinks in the other, which we can really jack the price up on, which is nice. And eventually, we're gonna switch this the uh, the vending machine will uh, customizable shop to a uh, some type of food, whatever we end up getting. Uh, which it looks like it's going to be burgers, which is perfect. Um, the coaster looking pretty good. Uh, not really anyone on it yet, but uh, I like the way it re it rolls. Uh, it's got good pacing through it. A little fast into the station, but uh, what are you going to do? Uh, sometimes that, that's just the way things happen. And uh, let me see here. We need to make some of these adjustments. Probably want to do uh, 20 and 25. That's probably not bad. Also, should probably have it set to full. Uh, and uh, yeah, we got people. Come, we got people flowing into the park. Uh, we did take a loan through all of this. Uh, it was just a, a small four thousand dollars, and that was just so we could finish up this building, the, the uh, station building, and the uh, uh, shop stall, bathroom, whatever you want to call it, building. And uh, we should probably, honestly, have a a thing that says "Don't go in here." Uh, that's not what I want. Signs. This. Yeah. That. That fits in there. That fits in there good. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these. Shortage of ride parts. So safety will suffer. That's fine. Uh, we are looking pretty decent here. The one thing we didn't do though. Uh, we didn't set up the uh, prices for our attractions yet, so let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, I did want to give them a chance to uh, get to the actual price that they should be at. Uh, so 61.3 multiply them by 0.15, and we get $9 out of st Stargazer. It's that is, it seems extremely loud. Holy crap, can I turn that down? Gosh, 70%, all right. Uh, anyway, 
Uh, 45.6 times 0.15. We're going to get 650 out of this. Of the bumper cars. The uh, Gravitron. Uh, 22. 0.15 going to equal $3. So that is uh, by far the cheapest one that we have. Uh, and then the top spin going to be 34.3. That was 0.15. We can get five dollars out of that, and can't forget that we have a little motion simulator here, uh, and that is going to be pretty low as well. Uh, definitely did not do that correctly, uh, and I think we can get four. Uh, it's close enough. It's 3.96, so we're gonna try four dollars on that and see how we do. Uh, we do need to set up this. We'll make this that and four. This I don't think uh, it matters, but the minimal weight we can change to five. That's fine. This the minimum weight. That's uh, five already, and this one needs to be five. So, okay, so we're we're doing good. We're not really making money yet, because uh, I don't think enough people have made their way into the park. Uh, we got our benches, we got our trash cans that are little rocket ships, uh, which are pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I think we're, we're looking pretty good here to start. Uh, it'd be nice to get more people on Stargazer here. But I don't know. I, I don't know if uh, I don't know how many people we're going to get into the park before we start to level out. Uh, we are going to probably do pretty well, though. Uh, experience ratings: 55%. Uh, I, that's probably because only a few people have left the park, which is fine. Uh, I have guess 500. We're not nowhere close to that. We're doing pretty good in the uh, optional rules to get that six thousand dollars. A crash at a nearby thing might have scared potential customers. That's that's bad timing for this. I, I don't have that many customers to begin with. So yeah, I guess uh, I guess we're gonna have to deal with that. Um, stupid other theme parks. There's probably. A Six Flags Park. Uh, oh, we're getting rained? That's why we have the Gravitron. It's also why we have the bumper cars. Uh, and I guess technically the motion simulator is probably pretty good at that too. Um, we also got our different uh, cover here, which is going to be good. Um, I was wondering how much it was going to rain in this park. Being somewhat desert-like. It seems like the ride's not really, uh, it's not a thunderstorm, so, like, they're just gonna keep on going. Uh, Gravitron certainly doing its job, bringing in people. Uh, but yeah, I think, uh, at this point, we just kinda gotta wait it out for a little bit here. Um, do we know what our next attraction is gonna be? The power surge. Oh my gosh. If I, that's what I think it is. That's like my favorite ride ever. Um, in real life. I love the power surge. Uh, but anyway, we should be getting the burgers pretty soon here. So, uh, hey, we made some money. It's good news. It also stopped raining. That's also good news. Um, but let's go ahead. I will fast forward until we get some more money. Uh, maybe we can pay back our loan and take a new one and uh, try and get more people into the park. So we got a ton of money there. Uh, we were able to pay off our loan. Just great. We did unlock the power surge. Now we're getting the Enterprise, which is another great ride. We're also working on the drop tower, which is great. We're going to go ahead and switch this to coaster. Uh, we'll keep this one on our thrill rides for now, because I think those are what we're going to need. 
Uh, we are starting to have some people that are a little upset with what's going on around here. So let's go ahead and get a, a mechanic. And we'll get another janitor as well. Uh, apparently, um, our hauler... Did our hauler quit? Like, what's, what's going on with our... We're, he's just he's just wandering on his own, I guess. Um, so I guess that means we have to do... We'll do uh, a thing for him. You are in zone... What? what? I didn't know I could do that. Um, okay. So, you're in zone one because you have no need to go anywhere else, Mr. Hauler. So your life is about to get very boring. So enjoy it. Uh, so we got that in there. Um, the uh, uh, scare from the other amusement park has gone away, which is going to help. Uh, Stargazer is making making us $1,200 a month now. Uh, and our other rides, doing pretty decent as well. Uh, maybe not the Gravitron, that might not be the best choice. Uh, honestly, maybe maybe none of these rides are all doing all that well. Uh, that, they're not doing terrible. Uh, but it's more to draw people in, right? So we're, we need to, we need to get some more people in here um, we're, so we're gonna get the power surge in, uh, which, by the way, is my favorite attraction, uh, to ride. I mean, just take a look at this thing. It twists all over the place. I know where I'm gonna put this, so I just don't have the money to do it. Um, it lifts up, you get, you spin in so many different directions. Uh, the only one I've ever been on was at Knobles Grove in Pennsylvania, uh, and it's Fantastic. Highly recommend it. We have 32 motion simulator fans coming in. Look at all. Look at all of these guys. All coming in. They're saying, I want to go ride the motion simulator. I'm going to go. Oh, they're all coughing. Uh, but, geez, they're all. Are they going to literally. If so, I think they come out this way. Let's, let's see where they go. Because I'm a little curious. Um, oh my gosh. A little bit of variation. A little bit. Oh, he just wanted to sit down. Maybe that was someone else. Uh, they did break up a little bit. But for, for the most part... Yep. They all went right to the motion simulator. And we don't really care that... They did go to the motion simulator, but uh, they're now in the park, so that's good. Uh, why? Why are these still out of stock? Oh my goodness! Because I'm an idiot. I put this for. Oh jeez, that is so dumb. No wonder people are angry. I'm an idiot. All right, so now that we got that sorted out, these can. Uh, get better. Uh, we also... What is going on here? It's gray. Why is it gray? Gathering ideas. Okay. Launch drop tower. Fine. Whatever. Um, our experiences were at 70% at one point. Uh, since we've done this, uh, they have gone to 49% because people started breaking stuff. So, good, good job, me. Uh, we should start seeing people get a little more happy. Uh, let's go ahead and actually let's switch this to burgers though now. So we'll get this to three dollars, uh, and we'll get this to five dollars. So there we go, and that should do us much better now compared to what we were doing. And yeah, the, uh, popular. Oh, it. Why does it focus on one ride? I don't understand. On the motion simulator, this is not the ride I want them to focus on. Focus on the freaking roller coaster. But 
Uh, anyway, we still we have people now that are able to get food, uh, which is good. Uh, we're at sixteen hundred dollars. Our experiences are starting to slowly go up. Our happiness is at ninety-eight uh, percent, and that should get a little bit better as we go through here. So, uh, what do we need to do now? Uh, we need to take a look at this because launch drop tower is getting closer. Uh, we are still researching for the coaster, which is fine. Uh, we want to get our power surge and probably the spinning coaster for now. Just, to, just so we can have another coaster in here, draw more people in. Uh, we're almost halfway there which is good because we're a year away yet, so we're not even halfway through. Um, yes, let's not look at that because that's embarrassing. Uh, we can get a 5,000, we can get a seven, or two 7,000s. Um, so if we're going to do one, I think we're just going to do the 7, but that's not a whole lot. So... Yeah, we'll just do this. This is fine. Because uh, that'll give us 9,000. And we will jump back into a time lapse. We're going to get the power surge in. Uh, we will... Oh, we can get the Enterprise in now. Uh, so we'll get both of those in. Uh, make sure your shops are selling enough food. Yes, that was a problem. That is solved. And, uh... Yeah, I think, uh... We'll, we'll start to expand on that, and then hopefully we'll have enough to be able to squeeze in a spinning coaster. I don't want to do the power coaster, it's not my favorite attraction. Um, so, uh, Enterprise Power Surge, you're up next, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, jumping into this time lapse, uh, we go ahead and put down that fantastic attraction, the Power Surge. Uh, go ahead and get those colors set up. I wish I would have changed the seats a little bit, but once you put the guys in, I didn't think it was, or the little test dummies in, I didn't think it was all that important. Uh, we go ahead and get the uh, launched uh, freefall tower, and then we go to focus on some shops and stalls. Uh, I did make a mistake not forgetting that, uh, yes, the uh, tunnels don't just automatically go underneath the ground for you when you have it dug in like that, so I had to make a little quick adjustment to that. Uh, then we go ahead and we set up some uh, staffing zones. I, I don't fully understand if I could just put zone one and then break it if they'll still wander their way over there or if it has to all be connected. Uh, so we go ahead and make one thing that went all the way through, um, but then we just very, very basic uh, building uh, to get that all hidden there uh, which felt great compared to some of the detail that I do in some of the other buildings because I was able to just easily plop it down and move on to the next thing so uh, we go ahead and start getting our uh, cover and shade for our attractions and then uh, we're really just buying time at this point uh, we unlock the six thousand dollars from uh, the 250 people in park and then I said you know what it's time to build a coaster so we go and jump straight into the spinning coaster uh, I didn't have a lot of space uh, I wanted to have a diagonal lift hill and uh, the only way to do that was with a uh, a vertical lift like an elevator lift style so we go ahead and put that in we get a few helixes in we do have an outward bank turn at the top uh, which we're pretty far behind. Uh, we're currently building now uh, S-Band and my favorite Helix in the entire uh, coaster. Uh, and then the hardest thing is just trying to figure out a way to get it back to the station. Um, I thought about a couple different ways of getting it and I ended up settling for just diving in underneath uh, and having it come right back up before hitting the uh, dual station here. Uh, and I really like to do this two stations like this because it can make everything so much more efficient to have a load and unload um, and then move the train on. 
Um, so I really focused on doing that. The one thing that I didn't care for about this coaster is that last little section where it goes underground. Um, I do eventually go to move that or uh, to remove all of the underground pieces and I do but unfortunately we have some uh, cut terrain up alongside the park fence there so um, you don't really notice it but I, I would have liked to do that a little bit better but again this is campaign we're not necessarily going for looks we would like things to, to look nice but it's not a requirement um, one thing I did need to get creative with uh, because of the way I built this coaster, there wasn't really much that I could do with those building pieces. They take up a full square and you can't always go straight through. Um, so we try and wing it. We go with this square bottom uh, and we use the borders and the glass to our benefit to try and make it look a little bit different. And uh, I think it, I think it turns out pretty, pretty nice. Uh, so once we get the base set up, that kind of opens up for us to go back to using those, uh, those building pieces. And, uh, we certainly do that. And then we add a pretty fancy, uh, little, like, uh, tower thing. I don't know what you would call that, but, uh, I think it looks good. I think it fits the, the theming and the scenario and, uh, at this point, we are just adding in some cornice pieces uh, before we actually go ahead and fix the ground in this other area. But that's going to do it for this time lapse, so I'll see you in the live portion. Alright, so we just completed our next coaster, uh, and it had to do a smaller coaster because uh, we were quickly running out of money. And if it wasn't for getting 250 guests in our park uh, and getting $6,000 from our objective, uh, we wouldn't have been able to build this. Um, but anyway, we went for a spinning coaster. Um, I didn't leave myself much to do with the uh, the station here, so I just had to kind of wing it and uh, create my own box shape with the regular wall pieces and whatnot. But uh, overall, pretty happy with the coaster. Uh, we can go ahead and get it open. Um, 49.9 uh, in terms of uh, the excitement, so that's not bad um, for what I was expecting. And uh, if we take that, multiply it by 0.15, uh, we're going to get about $7. So that's pretty decent. Um, I also, not 70 uh, I also, I wanted to get in the Enterprise Z2, but we just are shy a little bit, so we're going to have to play a little bit here, but, uh, I like the way this coaster rolls, um, it, it certainly got, um, some slow parts in it, like in this section up here, this is painfully slow, but, you know, whatever. Um, and then it drops into a crazy speed section. I do like this area, this like little helix type thing. Uh, and then this is all kind of nonsense stuff to get back to the station. So um, I wasn't going to do the elevator lift either, but I figured, you know what? I need some space, so let's go ahead and do it. And uh, I think it works out. We also got an outward bank turn up here, um, which should add some excitement. Uh, a little bit like Cobra's Curse in uh, Bush Gardens, Tampa, and uh, you know, we're looking, we got people coming in, uh, we're at 300 guests, we're in year one of November, or November of year one, I don't know why I said it like an idiot, and uh, I think this coaster is going to do us well here. Um, we also got our drop tower in, we got some food and uh, some food shops in. We also got a depot. We also got a staff building in here, which is visible on the side. So, uh, yeah, we should probably try and fix that here quick, and I think we can do this on camera. Because uh, I think we can just go ahead and, uh, what if we just include this in to uh, this build, this part here. Uh, 
not blend in. Actually, I guess it will kind of blend in. You know what, let's do it this way. Let's go ahead and we'll get in. I don't know. Alright, we're just gonna leave it like this. That's fine, whatever. Uh, so, we got our ride here. This is probably not making any money yet. Uh, Zero dollars so far because it hasn't registered anything for the month. Uh, but I think that's gonna draw in a lot of people. Uh, our launch drop tower also gonna draw in a lot of people, which actually I don't know if I, I did the. Uh, pricing on this. It doesn't look like it. Uh, no, I think we can get $7 out of this, which is insane. Uh, the power surge, we can get six fifty dollars out of. And like I said, this ride, I mean, just look at it. Just looks great. Uh, free spinning cars. It rotates uh, this way. It also rotates this big arm around. So, I mean, you're, you're spinning a bunch of drag. Look at the line for this thing. I might have made that too long. Um, but nonetheless, um, I think it'll be fine. And it's raining, so uh, it's storming. So we have a lot of rides that are going to close down. Except for the motion simulator and the Gravitron and the bumper car. So we still have some good rides that are going to stay open through all of this. And the question is, will these people... Oh, they, it's not going to start up, so... They'll stay in line because I have it covered, which is good. Uh, this is going to continue to roll. Uh, 361. We are making a lot of headway with our guests. We haven't done any marketing yet. Which is fantastic. Um, yeah. I think, uh, let's... Oh, inverting wooden coaster. We don't have... We've never built that, so that's that's a pretty exciting ride. We do need something that inverts. Uh, more visitors. Yeah, alright. Uh, that was a good... Let's, let's go ahead. We have a lot of throw rides, so let's go ahead and start getting some calm rides in here. Um, We'll continue on the throw rides here. We're getting apparently the Transformer, which I have no idea what that is. Um, oh good, look, we're starting to get people back into our rides. So that is great. Um, I think what I need to do at this point though, uh, we need to, uh, what do I need to do? I need to finish up. I need to make sure I get some benches and stuff so for people to sit on. For whatever reason, this guy... Oh, that's a security. I do. I should hire some more security, which we can do that now, I guess. Uh, we got two janitors. We got two haulers. We got two mechanics. We don't have two security, so we're just going to hire two right away. So I think these guys are going to be important. And then, uh, yeah, so I need to get benches. I need to get lights. I, and, it, of course, my bird uh, makes an appearance in this, this video as well. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. But I can't control him, so he's going to scream and do whatever he wants. And, uh, yeah, so benches, lights, trash bins, uh, and, and hopefully we'll be getting enough money. Uh, we'll probably also get the Enterprise in, and what else? Do we have any? Probably won't be a bad idea for some different shops and whatnot. And since we already have the the depot and everything in here makes sense in this general area, but uh, what else? The gentle monorail ride? I kind of want to just put one in just to put one in. I don't have any... I don't have any other reason to put it in. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll go ahead and venture out on that just so, so we can say we had one. Uh, but we do need the Enterprise because we need some high intensity stuff. Uh, to appease all of our guests, since uh, the highest thing we have is probably 51. That's got a lot of nausea, though. Uh, 56 at the drop tower. So yeah, so I think we need to get we need to get the Enterprise in. 
uh, and uh, we'll jump into a time lapse. We might not be that far off. We're already at 400 people, uh, and this area of the park's not even that busy. So, I will see you on the other end. All right, so we got our general monorail in, and on first glance, it shows an excitement of 47.3. That was clearly when it was only this long, so I mean, it's extremely long now. Um, we also got the Enterprise in, which is kind of in a weird location, probably a little too far away from the path, but I'm, I'm just trying to draw people in at this point. Um, experiences are at 84%, so we're pretty good on that front. Um, so I don't think I need to worry about that. Um, but the 35.4, we'll just go ahead and continue to make money just in case. Um, so that we can charge $5 for, which isn't a lot, but that's fine. Uh, and we're just going to assume this is right. Uh, so we can charge $7 for the gentle monorail, which is insane. Um, so let's go ahead, let's get it going. Let's see how it is. It, 450 people, we might actually complete this without marketing. Um, well, this broke down, that's no good. No bueno. Uh, we also set up our, uh, our work zones a little bit better. Um, so we still have this one area that the red comes through so you can get to the staff. I don't know if I need to do that or not, but I chose to just to be safe uh, and oh my gosh look at how painfully slow that is and people are just they're just coming right in he's like this is this is gonna be this is gonna be a great ride uh, a bit more intense than Gravitron so let's go for the gentle monorail and suck our lives away there are no high intensity rides around here that interest me Good news for you, we got the Enterprise, which is definitely a high intensity ride, so that should satisfy all those peeps. And uh, at 4.49, it, it's going to take a, a little bit to draw people in here. Maybe. You know what, let's just be safe here. Let's go ahead and let's get our... Oh my gosh, I forgot that alone. Uh, let's go ahead and pay that back a little bit. Uh, oh, that was stupid. Um, hey, look at all the people starting to roll in now. All right, so let's let's uh, let's not do that because one uh, oh forty cinema. I didn't know that was in there. Uh, we also figured out what the uh, transformer is, which it's this crazy thing. Um, I've never been on one of these in real life, but I would love to try one. Um, Unfortunately, the intensity somehow is only medium, but I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think I need it. Um, we got people flowing into the park. Um, it's also funny that this 
we have an entrance and an exit just to try and speed things up a little bit and uh, yeah people are gonna be waiting because this is only halfway through it meanders around the entire portion of the park uh, which is very interesting uh, so let's go ahead I guess we'll just put that to 10 um, that's maxed out, so there's not much we can do on that. Maybe it'll, it'll at least spread it out a little bit. Um, and these people are probably going to be waiting quite a bit. So, that's alright though. Uh, our experiences still 87%. They are dropping a little bit, probably because I didn't take care of some of the uh, staffing things that I have going on. Like the, uh, uh, the uh, janitors. It was very dirty inside the park for a little bit. Um, but now that's all taken care of. And we got some rain going. Rain's no bueno. Uh, I don't think it's going to matter, though. I think these people are just going to say, Hey, I just want to get on the general monorail and ride around for an hour of my day. So, uh, the turbine, what's that ride? That sounds exciting. Oh, 4D cinema looks, looks cool. Uh, wow, I didn't know this was in there. That's pretty cool. That's got to be a high intensity. Medium. Medium. How is it only a medium? I don't understand. Uh, 487, 489. I think the rain kind of pushed people away. Uh, we are getting very close and more rain. More freaking rain. Uh, 40. Oh, we are so close. Don't you do this to me. Uh, experiences have gone up, though, so that's that's a good thing. Uh, we probably are going to drop a little bit here. Hopefully this rain goes away. Just need to get it by August. Uh, and then we just need to maintain it. So, uh, 497 back to 496 people are leaving uh here we go now we're starting to get people roll back in after the rain showers uh but of course we're at 495 493 all over the place in terms of our guest count uh, but i do think we have more people rolling in here so uh we should be seeing the bar and hold it there we go uh right on cue actually and uh have at least 500 guests near park complete all not optionable so that is done uh, which is great because now we just need to focus on completing it and I think we're pretty much done um, let's let's take a look is this actually what is this 44.6 that's insane so this is you need to get these in there put these in your park they will draw people uh, and you can charge a good amount for it. I would have liked to. I would like to add more, more uh, cars, but you know, it is what it is. Um, restraint stuck open. All is well. Uh, don't like. Don't like that. All of a sudden, we're on a downward, downward trend here. Uh, okay, five. Boy. All right. So we're fine. Decreasing prices by 32%. Wow. Uh, yeah, we are just about to finish this scenario up. Uh, I enjoyed this scenario a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, I, I really wasn't looking forward to the uh, whole sci-fi theme. Um, but I, I actually was very fond. And let's go ahead and... You know, I realized we didn't actually... I don't think we actually rode this at any point. Um, we uh, we built these nice coasters. Let's zoom in a little bit here. And uh, I really like the way the stations turned out on them, too. So, observation tower. Man, we're getting all kinds of fun stuff here. Um, but, yeah, the... Hey! Would you take a look at that? We have completed our we have completed the Nova Labs. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll we'll still ride out the roller coasters uh, because uh, 
again, like I said, I'm pretty proud of these. I like I like the way they look. I wish I would have been able to get a loop into uh, Stargazer here, but, you know, there's worse things that could happen. Um, I do like... Oh, a little bit of confetti. Um, I do like the uh, going under the path twice. The double down into it seems really cool. And I, I think, it, again, it just flows very nicely. So, uh, that is it for Stargazer. Let's go ahead and get over here to Orbiter. Alright, so of course uh, it broke down. Uh, right as we were going to ride it. So, yeah, that is what it is. But, uh, I, this ride was kind of interesting to make. It's not my favorite ride, but... It certainly did the job, especially having the outward bank turn at the top. That's pretty interesting for a spinning coaster. Um, it does have some nice features to it, but uh, I think you would get sick on this one. There's definitely some very... Uh, what is that person holding? Is that a map? Anyway, um, I do like the low uh, S-band there, and then this is my favorite part of the ride, how it just kind of spins around that helix coming back into a hard break run um, just to kind of end the ride as we head back into the station building. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get out here and uh, let's go see what building we unlocked. Uh, one last look at the park. Uh, after all I do need to get a screenshot of everything. And, uh, yeah, this one looks pretty drab, to be honest. Uh, a lot of the same colors, a lot of reds. But, you know what? It does the job. So, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and see what we unlocked. See what we unlocked. Ah, there we go. The little Nova Lab, uh, little thing here, which is pretty nice. And we got both of our coins, and that does not un... Oh, it does unlock something. Uh, we just sail through over to a random island on the Crossway Sea. Uh, Adventure Island. Ooh, it's got a pre-built coaster in it. That's pretty exciting. Uh, but next, uh, we'll be doing Archipelago Adventures. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah, we're not going to read that yet. I'm getting too ahead of myself, but I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you saw something I could have done better, make sure you leave it in the comment section. You want to find some more awesome Parkitect uh, video content, uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, we got a video about every, once a week right now uh, on Parkitect. So, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later!